welcome to all you Harry Potter collectors out there and welcome to my channel. Today is episode two of What's in My Trunk and we have got fantastic trunks to show you too in fact. Now I haven't looked in these trunks since February so I don't know what's in them so it's a bit of a lucky dip. So are you ready to check these trunks with me? If so keep on watching. Hello everybody, um, it's Victoria McLean here. Please forgive me, I'm not as enthusiastic in this video because I was in a lot of pain with my back, so I do smile. I love you guys, remember that, and I hope you enjoy. Now the first trunk we are going to do, it is the um, Cine Replicas Fantastic Beasts Newt Scamander trunk. Now even though there are a few things in here that come with the trunk, there are some things that don't. So we're gonna have a look at those right now. Now this trunk is pretty damn cool. It came out, um, I think it was last year, it was £260 um, and there are 5,000 of them made. Now it comes with a secret compartment. This trunk is actually, was actually one of two that I received from Cine Replicas and the other one got given away in a competition. I'm afraid you were too late to enter. That was won by Antonia Devitt and she was the proud owner of the new Newt Scamander trunk. Now inside this trunk is a Newt Scamander scarf with the Crimes of Grindelwald tag on there as well. It's a very nice, well-made scarf. Now the other item that comes in here is a map. It is a Mapper Mundy World uh, map and it is by uh, Cine Replicas, but it is also a list of places that they go apparently. Now we still don't know about the Mapper Mundy. Um, it was a new shop that was open in Universal um, and it's still a bit of a controversial subject now. We still don't 100% know what it is. We know it's to do with Wizarding World Travel, but that is it. Now, obviously, this comes with a certificate of authenticity as well. And then, oh, and keys so you can lock your suitcase. These are still available. I will shove the link down below for you. Um, I think they're about £350 now. So this is the top half. And then underneath, I have a few little surprises. So in this trunk, I have some 1920s style items. Now, I love this. After I first watched Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, I became a little bit obsessed with New York in the 1920s because it just looks so beautiful. Mina Lima did such a brilliant, brilliant job of that. Now, I found things like this magic skirt marker. Again, this is an antique piece uh, used by dressmakers um, and I can't tell you when because there's no date on it but I know it's pretty damn old by the descriptions on the side. Now inside is a really cool item that you fill with chalk, it's still got the chalk in it and you use it to mark where you're going to cut. So you'd mark along the edge there, but even though it's not anything a wizard or a witch would use, possibly, we don't know, it was called the magic marker, so it had to be done. Now another item, a couple of items that I bought, I had two pairs of these old pair of binoculars, because you know when you open Newt's Commander suitcase, um, the muggle worthy, and you see it all in there, I love the fact that he had those pieces, so I had a pair of binoculars, I had an old magnifying glass there as well, and my favourite item out of all the items I have in here. Oh, and this is the only clock I could find that looked similar to what Newt had in his. Even though it's not old, this is very, very new. This is a visitor's, this is the most expensive item in this box, in this suitcase. It is a visitor's guide to New York, the Wonder City. And this is the 1920s visitor's map. It's a genuine map. Very, very, very old indeed. And it opens all the way up. I don't think I'll, I'll do it because it is so old. You're looking at this, it's almost 100 years old, this map. This is pretty impressive. Oh, go on then, I'll open it. I'll be brave. Um, ah, it's really, really, really delicate. Oh, it's very, very well made. But I love the look of it inside there. Look at that, how beautiful is that? I think I paid about 16 pound for this which to be honest was a lot to pay for a visitor's map, I felt. Now I've got to remember how it closes. Hang on. There it is, yay, yay! <laughs> but it's it's got a lot of water damage on it, which is the only thing, which is very sad. It is an incredible, incredible map. There we are then. Written by Bruce Barton in May 1919. Um, how cool is that? That is absolutely brilliant. 1919 so it is a hundred years old <laughs> that is 
is so cool. I mean, of course, it's seven years before Fantastic Beasts was meant to be, but how cool is that? That's pretty damn cool. So that's the end of my Newt Scamander trunk. Now the next trunk literally has been stuffed. Now I have piles and piles of trunks next door. It looks a bit like the Hogwarts Express station, Hogsmeade station, uh, because it is just full of trunks next door. Right, so I have no idea what's in here. I haven't looked in here since February, so I'm literally going to, if you've watched my first episode, my first video, which you can see here, you'll see how I do these videos. So I'm grabbing a load of items, so I'm gonna pull them out. Right, okay, so we have lots of postcards. Um, I got given a load of these in Mina Lima, so a load of these postcards I have. I have oh, a Ravenclaw card holder there. Oh, I forgot I had these, oh my God. These are tattoos by Cine Replicas. They sent them to me to show you guys, and I did show you guys back when I first got them. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at the artwork of these. They are sensational. Um, and when I did a live video, you guys told me what you wanted me to put on there and then, and I chose the two there. I can't remember what they are now, mine, but you've got some fantastic ideas for real tattoos here. And I love the Triwizard Cup down there, it's just brilliant. And then we have, um, oh, I've got a load of magnets, a set of 10 magnets, but how cool are they? Potion labels, again, still in their packaging. <gasps> I love this. This is a Howler letter from the Warner Brothers Studio Tours in London. Now it is an actual Howler letter. Now this letter, this card is an actual birthday card or, or whatever you want it to be. It was 15 pound in the studios. Will it work? Oh, hang on. Oh, why can't I get it to? Okay, let's just pause it for a second. You can clearly see there is a clear plastic tab that needs to be pulled for it to work, Victoria. For goodness sake, woman! It doesn't work. Right, when you open it, you press the button there to record your voice. Now, bearing in mind, this is old now, but you press the button there, it's 15 pound, you record um, a message, so when the person receiving the card opens it, they have your message. I think it's about 15 seconds. I can't believe it stopped working. I really am shocked at that. Really shocked at that, but it's an amazing piece. You get to get, if you get to a chance to get one, um, bearing in mind it's a couple of years old now, but I'm really shocked. Normally you'd open it and it would scream at you. Um, I actually recorded Mrs. Weasley's voice going, Ronald Weasley, how dare you steal that car? I'm gutted at that. I'm absolutely gutted it stopped working, but again, it is two years old. I don't know why it stopped working. Unless there's been a glitch inside it, I don't know. Now, this is a Hogwarts Express this is from the Harry Potter Studios. That's my baby girl, Monica. She is now an interactor at the Wizarding World in Watford, London. So make sure you go and say hello to her because she's loving her new job. She had a message from the, one of the managers is it yesterday saying what a fantastic job she was doing. So very proud mummy. Now this isn't as big, the trunk isn't as big as the last one was. That was mad. We have this is a um, night bus lunchbox, again from the Warner Brothers Studio Tours Watford London. These are still available. Um, they did sell them for one pound before. Obviously you can get the lunch inside, but if you wanted to have this individual piece, it was a pound. So I had to have one because it's me. And I've got more pictures from the studios. Uh, this was my, my family. I've got my mum, my daughter, my sister and me in the Ford Anglia there. Again, these are some of the photographs that you can have taken at the studios. It's, oh my God, how old is that? That is me on a broom a long time ago. Oh my God, that's like so old. I've also got dark hair. This is an actual official photocopy of Ivana Lynch's autograph that were given out by the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. So these are official, um, but they, obviously it's not actually her handwriting. Um, it's a photocopy of it, but I actually do have her autograph because I met her a few years ago. She is lovely. And again, this is the same thing. You've got Daniel Radcliffe there. Best wishes, Daniel Radcliffe. Again, this is official, officially by Warner Brothers. 
um, bit which are handed out to certain people in, in the studios. But again, it is a photocopy, it's not the real thing. Here is me dressed as Luna Lovegood at platform nine and three quarters in King's Cross Station. What else have we got? And we got Harry dressed in raven claws. Since when is he a raven claw? He's a proud bloody Slytherin, that child. I'm more than happy to tell his mother he's a proud Slytherin. Um, some fantastic beast items from Loot Crate. When Loot Crate was good, um, I've now cancelled my subscription from Loot Crate because they became a bit crap in my opinion. I am now a very much a geek gear girl. Right, let's have a look, see what else we've got here. All oh, these items are still available. We have a writing letter writing set um, from you can get them from Menkind, um, and this was Primark, and the pen's been taken out. But again, another letter writing set. Oh wow, I've grabbed a lot here. Right, so we have a Golden Snitch um, bookmark there by Warner Brothers. We have loads and loads of bookmarks. Again, these are the ones that you get in the wands, but I think you get them in the pet wand pen sets as well. And I've got, I know a lot of people collect the bookmarks and I've got Fantastic Beasts. I've got Hogwarts in the Snow. I've got another Hogwarts in the Snow. I've got the Forbidden Forest bookmark. Oh, these are nice. Um, I've got quite a few of these ones. They were released, these were released in Waterstones when the first books came out, the house coloured, house themed books. Um, the uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, I think, was it, was it today? Or Goblet of Fire was released today. Um, all that's nice. Harry Potter book night when I won the cosplay in King's Cross Station as Luna. We got given a lovely goodie bag. Again, more bookmarks, I've got loads of bookmarks. Uh, we got the Cursed Child bookmark. We've got, again, we've got more um, stickers and things, oh, uh, more bookmarks. That's a cool one, it's a 3D one, when this is the American version um, for the Harry Potter books. And then I've got a Barnes and Noble bookmark there as well on card. A Warner Brothers um, post, uh, postcard, passport there. This was cool, these were handed to us at the King's Cross Station when we went there for the Harry Potter book night last February. Um, and inside it's a letter that says, you know, to blah, 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 blah. It's just really, really lovely. I haven't opened my one yet, I had, but Harry opened his. I got a platform nine and three quarters postcard. I've got Fantastic Beast postcard. I've got um, an advert for the Warner Brothers Studio Tour before it opened. My God, I've got loads. I've got another one for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Oh, this is a Universal Orlando Resort. This exclusive commemorative ticket marks the 210 opening of the Wizarding World in Harry of Harry Potter. For the first time ever, you can visit the shops of Hogsmeade, explore the mysteries of Hogwarts Castle, and enjoy the pulse-pounding rides and attractions, including the exciting new Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. There's only one place where you can experience all the magic and excitement with at the um, Universal Resort. Uh, Universal Orlando Resort, and this was ticket number 268,984. So that I didn't even realise I had. That is so cool. That is amazing. I didn't know I had that, uh, but I love anything like that. Uh, win a copy of The Cursed Child. Um, I've got download your copy, your photos. I've got congratulations cards. I've got... Um, Barnes and Noble, no, is it Barnes and Noble? Um, Harry Potter book, national book tokens card. I've got a Woolworths gift card, oh my God. Primark gift card. Um, I've got things like uh, Universal Orlando gift cards. I've got three different ones. That's Harry, Ron Hermione, and you've got the Hogwarts Express. And then you've got Harry and Hogwarts in the background. Stunning platform nine and three quarters um, ticket, which I got from platform nine and three quarters shop. Um, this one's called, cool. this is the David Yates, David Heyman, David Barron invite you to the, and the cast and crew to the screening of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince on Saturday the 4th of July 2009, Odeon, Leicester Square. I've been to that cinema and the screen, I kid you not, I walked in and I swore really loud because you walked in and it was just like, it was huge. We watched Fantastic Beasts and, um, the, and where to find them there. And you know at the end of Fantastic Beasts when you see Tina on the docks and she's saying, she's saying goodbye to Newt, she was, it was so big she was really stretched. It was huge. 
I kid you not, it was huge. Now Janice would love this. Um, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Cast and crew screening for Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets at Odie in Leicester Square again um, on Saturday, November the 6th, 2002. How cool is that? Again, stuff I love. And then you got this one, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Odeon on Saturday, May 29th, 2004. Cast and crew screen, and I've got adverts for the Harry Potter Studios, leaflets, I've got adverts and lots. I've got Universal Studios in Orlando, Universal Studios Orlando, different ones again, Studios in London, Orlando Studios, and then I've got things like this postcard, a postcard, which is a card, it's really, really lovely, of Hogwarts. And then I've got things like this from the Warner Brothers Studio where your tickets arrive in. That was the first one, I think. And then I've got that one for, platform for Hogwarts Express. And then that one for um, the Forbidden Forest. I've got a Ravenclaw poster. I think that was from Farron, wasn't it? No, that was from my friend Justine. So that one. And then I've got Harry Potter card again there from Kelly. I've got greetings from Hogsmeade from my friend Deb and Brad in Australia. Oh, I love this daily profit card. Look at that, and it's a it's a three D effect one. So it's beautiful. That was by Mina Lima, but I think I got that from Waterstones. So yes. Oh. Right. So the first thing I've got is these were from Loot Crate, the Honey Jukes um, box, but they are rubbers inside. Really, really nice. This was when Loot Crate were good. Um, they were really good. I love the Honey Jukes packaging. So I was going to transfer for my whole homework room on one side into Honey Dukes, but I haven't been able to do it yet. Now these are really nice. Um, these are again bookmarks, but I do love collecting my bookmarks. These were Harry Potter, these were the American, no, a Bloomsbury, it was the new release of the covers I think. Bloomsbury bookmarks for each cover, but I absolutely love them. Again, they're just so, so, so nice. And I love anything like that because it's something different. Then I've got a Harry Potter birthday card. I've had loads of birthday cards. This was from my kids. Um, how lush is that? They're so good to their mummy. And then this was something from the Harry Potter Studios. It is 10 Christmas cards, which is very, very nice. They still sell these in the studios. And then you've got different, all different designs there as well. So very, very lovely. This was interesting. Again, this is another Loot Crate item. It is a writing set with wax but it's for the Chamber of Secrets. You can't really see it very well, but the wax inside was a Chamber of Secrets wax. So that was quite nice and it came with red wax as well. Um, again, that was Loot Crate. When Loot Crate were good, when they came up with some nice stuff. Um, again, I highly recommend Geek Gear. Okay, so the next lot of items are, I love this. This is a Ravenclaw um, wax seal set by Noble Collection. It is so, so, so nice. They've got all the houses, including just a Hogwarts one as well. Really love it. Um, I love collecting my packaging. So I've got my Honey Dukes uh, Butter Toffees. This is from the Harry Potter Studios. I think they might be available in the Universal Studios in Orlando as well. Um, and I've got the Harry Potter Christmas cards from Primark. And you can get all of those ones that you can see on the back there. I'm going through this as quick as I can because there's so much of it. And I've got a Harry Potter bookmark there. These were loot prints from Loot Crate, I think. I wasn't too keen on them, if I'm honest. But I have them anyway. It is the four founding... Um, the founders of the houses. So you've got Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, not Helga Hufflepuff, sorry, Rowena Ravenclaw, Salazar Slytherin, and Helga Hufflepuff there. So they are really, really lovely pieces. Little things like this Fantastic Beast star that was for the opening of Mina Lima section in London. I've got other bits like these Lego annuals, how to build your castles and things. I've got those, I've done them already. But I don't like chucking anything away uh, when it comes to Harry Potter. Right, oh my gosh, this is really heavy. Right, I have a Ravenclaw bookmark. Can't really see it properly there. I have, oh, lots and lots and lots of tickets and things from the Warner Brothers Studio. Again, I do love keeping my stuff. Um, lots of Lego instructions, Lego game instructions, Lego instructions, more Lego instructions. That's for newts. 
and the Quidditch set again. And then I have, oh my goodness, the masses of Lego instructions for the Hogwarts castle, which was amazing, which I have just up there. And it's just gonna have to be moved soon because um, I'm actually, I'm going to start changing my cabinets. I think I'm going, because I can't film in front of my cabinets because I get glare um, and I get reflection. So I'm actually looking at having just shelves instead and putting my glass cabinets somewhere else. We have, oh, this is really nice. This is a handmade hip flask, but it's Fantastic Beasts keyring there. Can you see that? Um, a gentleman that I met makes them. And even though it's not official, it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not a alcohol drinker, really. I don't, I mean, I do have the occasional drink, but not massively. But I just loved how he did this, and it's embedded in real leather there. It's really nice. I know Newt wouldn't approve of the real leather, mind, but we'll let him off because he's done a brilliant job. What have we got? I've got loads of Empire magazines um, that have got adverts for Harry Potter in them. I've got little um, unofficial pictures there of Harry. I've got um, screen photos from scenes. I've got the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child bag there for the book. I've got prints, Harry Potter prints. I think I had that from my brother-in-law. Very nice though. I've got um, transfers to put on things, of quotes from Harry Potter. I've got a Har Harry Potter calendar with my name on it from 2017. Um, so I've got so much stuff. Okay, last couple of things now. I wanted to show you these. These are Honey Dukes stickers that go on jars. They're plastic stickers that I have made for my wedding because I had a Harry Potter and Star Wars wedding and I had a sweetie table that I tried to copy uh, from the sweetie trolley from the uh, Hogwarts Express so I had lots of jars made up uh, with Harry Potter sweets and the Honeyduke stickers as well to go on top so that was pretty cool right these are obviously noble collection bookmarks with the houses on absolutely love them with the house crest you've got obviously ravenclaw you've got gryffindor hufflepuff and slytherin they are really 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 lovely i love those and then these are unofficial items but they are approved um i was a part of the hogwarts running club now what i loved about the hogwarts running club is you paid for the medal fair enough you paid for the medal um but it came from anywhere in the world and they were always harry potter themed and you ran and the money went to charity Look at one of them. That is a Severus Snape, a Severus, sorry, Sirius Black um, award there for, I think it's doing for 10 kilometers in 2017. It is absolutely beautiful. And it's got a quote on the back there. Absolutely lovely. And then it says Hogwarts Running Club and you've got the hoops and things there. And then the other one I have, I've only got two. Um, this one was amazing. Now you have again the Hogwarts Running Club um, and it's blue and this was to do with the Goblet of Fire, Eternal Glory and you've got the four tickets around it there, obviously Harry Potter, I think that's Victor Crumbs, no Cedric Diggory's, Fleur Delacour and then Victor Crumbs and then you've got the Goblet of Fire there and then you've got Hogwarts Castle there, absolutely brilliant and then on the back you have Voldemort's, the, the Riddle Grave there as well. Um, absolutely amazing and then Cedric's um, outfit there from the Goblet of Fire tournament obviously that's where he died so it was such a beautiful beautiful thing to have Hogwarts Running Club I will put the link down below they are well worth the look and um, the money goes to charity the items that you get the the um, awards that you get the medals that you get are sensational for the price that you pay I think they are so well worth the money and it's all for a good cause so definitely go and check that out well I hope you've enjoyed my episode two of what's in my trunk I do have an amazing trunk to start using I'm going to start asking my family to maybe put a few things in there to surprise me and then open them up and then I will talk about the items that are in the trunk God knows what they'll put in them, so it should be quite funny. I apologise for not doing as much as I normally do. Um, obviously, I'm inundated at the moment with so many things that I'm trying to do. But YouTube is always going to be my number one. I will always get my videos done. Um, if I don't, it's only when I really, really, really don't, I, I don't get a chance. 
But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check back for next week. I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, invite your friends, and also like this video and let me know down below in the comment section, what did you think of this video? What would you like me to cover? Until then, thank you so much. Take care. I love you all and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye.